There is evidence out there showing that apple cider vinegar is beneficial for human health. The interesting part is that all benefits seem to be related to sugar metabolism and insulin resistance. Weight loss, belly fat and blood glucose reduction are just a few of the benefits. However, we don't know the mechanism behind it. Since honeybees also deal with a huge amount of sugars in their metabolism, I always wonder what apple cider vinegar would do to honeybees. The use of apple cider vinegar in beekeeping is a controversial topic. It is cheap, easy to find in large quantities, and apparently can bring some benefits to honeybees as well. Plenty of beekeepers use it to adjust the pH of sugar syrup, an artificial diet beekeepers make in time of dearth. The reasons to adjust the pH is to simulate the pH of the natural diets of honeybees, the delicious honey. The controversial part starts when beekeepers spray a diluted solution of apple cider vinegar on honeybee frames with adults and young bees in them, claiming that it helps honeybees to fight diseases. I took a look at this matter in my research and I found a possible explanation for a potential positive benefit of apple cider vinegar on honeybees but for a reason that has nothing to do with sugar metabolism. This is the story of John, the beekeeper. Well, this is not his real name. When I visit beekeepers, we have a very important agreement. What happens in the beekeeping operation? Stay in the beekeeping operation. After some convincing, he allowed me to share his story if I didn't mention his name. John is an experienced beekeeper in the United States taking care of more than 10,000 honeybee hives. And like many other beekeepers out there, John faces many common problems beekeepers are dealing with. Lack of good nutrition, pesticides and of course, pests and pathogens. Actually, a lot of those. In one of my visits, John pushed me aside trying to hide from the rest of the crew and said, I want to hear your opinion about something that we do in my operation. I immediately feel weird about it because I know John is not very sharing and always suspicious about everybody in his operation. Humberto, you and other researchers keep talking about varroa and viruses they transmit as the main problem in beekeeping today and I get that. However, there is something that I do that I truly believe is making a difference in my operation. I was very curious and at the same time very skeptical. Because one of the most difficult things in beekeeping is the establishment of a universal set of rules that fits every single situation in apiaries. Honeybees are not like other farm animals where we can control their nutrition and genetics. Things that work in one beekeeping operation very likely will not work the same way in another. I endorse beekeepers trying different things, but I recommend proper testing so you can confirm your hypothesis before you start spreading things around that could be detrimental to the bees, to the operation, and ultimately to the beekeeper. Check my Patreon page for more information about this. I know John know this thing, so the conversation continued. John said, Humberto, I'm one of those beekeepers that spray apple cider vinegar solution on my bees. I'm doing this for a couple years now and I'm convinced it's helping the bees. I have reasons to believe it's helping the bees with mites somehow. It does not put them down because I count mites after application, but the bees seems to recover better from mite damage. Can you explain that? At that time, I unfortunately didn't have any information and the story ended there. Until last week, when I came across a very interesting scientific discovery. As I mentioned before, beekeepers use apple cider vinegar in the feeding solutions they give to honeybees when they need it. The rationale behind it is to simulate part of the chemical composition of honey, a natural energy source of honeybees. Honey is a highly concentrated sugar solution combined with salt and vitamins and has a pH around 3.9 and 4.5 depending on the plant source. So it is a little acid compared with sugar solution prepared at home which is around 7. So it makes a lot of sense to try to preserve part of the natural conditions honeybees are adapted to live in. Beekeepers adjust the pH of the artificial sugar solution in two ways, by adding ascorbic acid, better known as vitamin C tablets, into the food, or by adding apple cider vinegar to the final sugar solution. 
But what about spraying bees with apple cider vinegar? What could be the mechanism behind the potential benefit of this practice? In January of 2021, a scientific article published in the journal Science Advance brought new light to the apple cider vinegar conversation. The article is entitled Capsid Openings Enable Genome Release of Ifloviruses. And you might be asking yourself, Humberto, have you lost your mind? What the heck that has to do with the apple cider story? Well, researchers from the Central European Institute of Technology in Czech Republic demonstrated after a series of interesting experiments that three honeybee viruses, slow bee paralysis virus, sac brood virus, and the dangerous deformed wing virus open their capsids and release their genome in an acidic environment. After the purification of the samples of these three different viruses, the researchers exposed the viruses to two different pH solutions, the pH of 7.2, a neutral pH close to what beekeepers do when making artificial feeding without the adjustment, and the pH of 5.4 a more acidic environment closer to what natural honey is. And then they look at the virus particles using an electron microscope. Sac brood virus, slow bee paralysis virus, and deforming wing virus seem intact in neutral pH of 7.2. However, in an acidic pH of 5.4, you can clearly see the virus capsid opening and their genome being exposed. Here you can see a computer simulation showing the progress over time. In green, you see a slow paralysis virus, in blue you can see sac brood virus, and in orange you can see deformed wing virus. But what exactly does that mean? And how it might help honeybees? To explain that, we need to go back to cell biology and virology 101 here. Endocytosis is a natural cellular process in which substances are brought inside the cell. Once a specific substance or pathogen is recognized, the cell will internalize the components into vesicles. Before the release of the content into the cytoplasm, the cell releases enzymes and make the vesicles more acidic to digest the content. Once the content is digested, then the cells open these vesicles, releasing the content inside the cytoplasm. Since the cells need to bring components inside the cell all the time, some viruses take advantage of this pathway to enter the cell, starting the infection. You might be asking yourself, what about the acidic environment? Wouldn't that kill the viruses? as well. Actually, some viruses are adapted to that, to the point that they need acidification to help them to open their capsids and release their genome inside the cytoplasm, starting the infection process. So when the researchers saw that an acidic condition was able to open virus particles, this was a strong indication that these honeybee viruses use the endocytosis pathway to infect cells. It also suggests that natural honey might be a layer of security against honeybee viruses infection. And artificial food given to bees without pH adjustment might be helping the viruses instead. This is another lesson on why we should be very careful when we replace natural conditions with artificial not well thought solutions to help the honeybees. Apple cider vinegar in this case might indeed be helping honeybees to kill viruses by lowering the pH of the food, which will trigger the release of the virus genome out of the capsid prematurely, inactivating the virus. And in the case of sick bees being sprayed with apple cider vinegar, if the bees are infected with some of these viruses, it will be reasonable to think that it might also be killing viruses in different surfaces like the frames itself, minimizing the viruses that could potentially be spread around by other bees. Maybe that's the reason why the beekeeper is seeing some improvement in his apiary. A lot of speculation here, and a lot more research is needed to confirm all of this. Our mission here at InsideTheHive.tv is to bring relevant information from the scientific world to beekeepers that could potentially be translated into beneficial procedures. Please keep in mind the significant amount of other variables involved before you start to think about using apple cider vinegar on your bees. We don't know if there is any potential harm effect, so be careful. Are there any other potential benefits of apple cider vinegar to honeybees? I am not sure, but I know there are a lot of other stories circulating out there that I will for sure touch base on if I found relevant information to share. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below.
If you see any value in my videos, please consider support me on Patreon, where I post more content about bees and interact with my supporters in a personal level. And if you like this video, you will love this one right here. Thanks for watching. Inside the Hive.tv, the show about bees. See you guys next week.